What is up guys? Welcome back to another daily build video. This time we're checking out Scotto's Porsche in Motorfest. Let's go. Real quick before I get into the video, if you're looking for any of my Motorfest tunes or my Need for Speed Heat builds, I've moved everything to my website. It's militiagamingco.com. There's links in the main navigation menu for Need for Speed Heat builds and Motorfest Pro settings. So click those if you're looking for that. The link to the site is actually in the description of this video. All right, enjoy. All right, so before we get into the tune, I just wanna say this car actually performs pretty well. Um, it's definitely not the top of the class, but it is, decent it is viable it's something that i think you can use in the grand races we'll find out later in the video how it goes but i think naturally people are going to want to take this car and compare it directly to the 993 because the cars are really similar obviously in the way they look but also in sort of the way they handle like this car just feels a little bit more loose in the back end it oversteers just a little bit more than the 993 and it doesn't accelerate as quickly as the 993 does so there's a little bit of a disadvantage here it's not quite as good as that car it also doesn't have the top speed of the hurricane but it is in between the 993 and the hurricane simji and i did some testing go check out his channel he also has a video on this car so i would highly recommend watching that as well we did some testing on the slipstream top speed for this car you can check out the results on his video it'll be linked in the description that being said it does okay on the test times it ranks eighth on my list in terms of street two cars so it's up there it's viable it's just not the top of the class Let's get into the pro settings and then I'll give you what my fastest run was on Kyusha Spirit, my test course, and then we'll get into a grand race. All right. So for the brake balance, we're looking at 47% and we go down to the suspension and I've got the spring rear set at plus five, compression front at minus two and the compression rear at plus two. Then for the rebound, I've got it at minus five on both. The car seems to want to jump every time you hit a curb and it still does with this tune, but if you go any softer, um, I, I didn't really want to drop it anymore because then you start to lose some of what the car is really good at, which is when you're on the road and you're taking turns, it actually oversteers and sticks the turns pretty well. I didn't want to sacrifice that just so that I could go over a curb or two. This is my favorite setting. If you feel like the car is jumping too much for you, you can drop the rebound just a little bit more. As far as the anti-roll bars go, we're at plus five on the front and plus 10 on the rear, and then minus 0.25 on the front and minus 0.25 on the rear for the camber. So let's, uh, let's get out to the fastest run and then we'll go for a grand race.
All right, the Porsche's up second. Let's see if we can have a good race. I am kind of going into this a little cold. I might be all over the place. I decided to grab the Cento Dieci, which I have not driven in a long time. So let's hope I can do well. All right, it's all right. We're bumping into each other. Oh my goodness, dude. How did I avoid everybody on that? Whoa, dude, El Diablo just cutting in on me. That's uh, the side of my car. Oh, I understeered. All right, all right. Here we go, bull terrible. Zekin or Zeke? <laughs> Zekin. All right, we're at full top speed. I did the same thing he did. go scatos you are up sir okay it would be nice if i hit a gutter or two why does it sound like bull terrible's audio is in my ear I swear to God, the audio has changed with this recent update, bro. You can see it's like I'm getting audio from the car behind or in front of me. I don't know which one it is. One of them sounds pretty crazy. Oh, I was on the throttle just a little early on that. And then I missed the shift into third because I couldn't hear for some reason. Anyways, I'm doing great, dude. <laughs> Just got to chase down Bull Terrible. Let's see what happens. I don't think it's going to happen. Just because I can tell by the way I'm driving and by the way he's driving that he's just going to continue to put distance on me and the guys behind me are creeping, bro. As you can see through the turns, though, it actually feels really nice to drive. Like, high-speed turns in particular, the thing excels. See if I can actually take this one. Uh, I took that a lot slower than I think this car will handle. 
that one I let off a little. I need more NOS. I over or understeered that corner, but it was the line that I took, not necessarily the car, I think. The car wanted to stick it, and uh, I didn't trust it. All right, it did fine. I didn't lose any positions. Uh, Bull Terrible was in front this entire time. So it's not like, oh gosh. It's not like, uh, like I said, the Porsche is, the Porsche is, is good. It's just not great. Now we just see if we can. See if we can track this guy down. question is do we hit him with the double reset is he gonna hit us with the double reset I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the double reset because it is not a guarantee anymore it is very difficult to hit Especially in this car. So I have no idea if we're going to be able to do this. Let's see if he does it. Nope, he didn't do it at all. We got it. And he's still pulling away, dude. For the win. Good job, Bull Terrible. Very good race, sir. Very clean. I don't think he reset at all. I think he just took the turn normally. And maybe in Alpha GP, the reset is not worth it. That could be the case too, which I don't really know. Anyway, Scottos is 100% viable. It's a very good car. It just isn't the best car. Like if you're gonna use a Porsche, you probably should use the 993. They look very similar. A lot of people are gonna mistake them for each other while playing. Um, you know, while racing against them, they're gonna say, oh, there's another, you know, Porsche driver, but you can definitely tell that this car struggles with mid transmission acceleration, third and fourth gear, particularly, uh, it doesn't have the acceleration that the 993 does. It also doesn't have the ability to stick gutters like the 993. So it's definitely an okay car, a, a good car even, but not great. It's definitely not top of the class. And uh, I definitely recommend getting it, though, because you got to collect it, right? You got to have it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you on tomorrow's Daily Build. Trigger out. <laughs>